Okay, hey guys, it's Joni. Um, gonna be working on hands and feet still. Last video we did chocolate. This video we're going to do um, black. So I'm only going to show one leg and one arm. The sun is going down. It's kind of weird shadowy. So hopefully you guys can see this. I just did one video, but I had to erase it because erase. I had to delete it because it was um shadowy. So hopefully this video won't be. And I've got fuzzies. He's on his foot. Okay, so what we're working on is the little short hairs, and we're going to go towards the nail. And then this is the black, and I'm using a soft pressure, not real light, but somewhere in between, medium maybe. And as the hairs go on the toes, they kind of go towards the sides a little. Kind of at an angle. And when you're um, doing hairs, try to lay them down where they look like they blend instead of uniform. towards the nail. It's kind of tough to get in those creases. So do the best you can if you need to manipulate the vinyl. Go ahead. Like I said last time, the feet were looking bare, and it was looking more like a chimp than a fox. We're going to put some short hairs on the feet. And the feet, I guess there's, fox only have feet, they don't really have arms. Kind of a weird time of the day where I have sunlight, but it's creating some shadows everywhere. The way it's going down. Try to be purposeful with your herring. So don't look too blobby. Since this is a darker color than the chocolate, it matters a little bit more. And I'm sort of angling the hair towards the nail.
Sorry about that, I hit the wrong button. I was trying to move the camera. My hand caught that. I guess it's a reverse button. Where everything goes towards the nail. That mat I put on there ended up collecting some fuzz in it. I don't know if I can get the fuzz out. Well, I have good news. We're in the one. We're in the two thirties as far as um, subscribers. So we are getting very close to the draw. I'm gonna ask you guys to share. There's two shorts about it and you can share one of those shorts if you like try to get some more subscribers so i can do the draw remember winner pays shipping it's open internationally as long as you're willing to pay the shipping if for some reason you are not able to pay the shipping then i'll have to do another draw so i hope i don't have to And I'm going to be doing it live and using a um, random, mm, random name picker, I guess. I think I've got a dozen or so entered. Gonna angle the hair up towards the toenails. Oh, you guys can see pretty good. That's good. Let's get this a little sharper. Maybe I can fit it down in there. I have my room organized, pretty much, anyway. My studio here. It's also the laundry room, so <laughs> the washer and dryer in here, or in here. I'm 
Well, I'll show you guys after I get the at least one arm and one foot done for you. And you guys are going to need to do one more layer after this. And I would do um, probably black. I'm going to experiment and see if I can make paw pads. Last time I tried, it did not turn out very well. And the shadows. We're going to hit it again with another layer. I'm not going to show um, matting because we've done that. A couple of times. I guess I was saying going up towards the nail, but it doesn't look good that way. So I'm going to angle it towards the heel. That looks better. Okay, guys. There's the foot. I apologize for all the, sh the shadows. Hopefully you can see it. Let's do a hand. Yeah. When I put it in the um, oven, I was using a washcloth. That's what I always have. And I think it got stuck in some spots. about you guys but I am so ready to do a human baby but I am determined to finish
and doing the hair on the head is really making me nervous. I'm putting it off. It would be a little better if I did it in the shade, I'm not sure. stuck If you like these videos, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And I'll do my best to answer them. I am getting hungry. I eat lunch. There's my stomach, it's grumpy. It's almost like it'd be better if the sun would go ahead and go all the way down. It's the afternoon here. You guys may be hard. It may be hard for you guys to see what I'm doing, and trust me, it's hard for me to see what I'm doing, too.
Hopefully the next video will be a little bit better. Okay, so that's it for now, and uh, yeah, hopefully I want to show you guys the room. Big stretch. Ugh, big stretch. Okay. Mm, one second. My stomach is still grumbling. Hang on a second, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, ooh, the sun is bright. <laughs> so, this is the room. Oh, and I've got the washer and dryer there, obviously. And this utility sink. And some cabinets. My desk, sewing table, underneath that yellow, red and black thing is my sewing machine, and all my kits, laundry basket, excuse that, now you can see I have a whole ton of them, okay, so that is my laundry room slash studio, and I will be doing a human baby the next time. I have several kits to choose from. Um, one of them I definitely want to work on is um, Gianna and Julia. And I've got um, Charlie Arcello. He's the one with his, with his neck turned just a little bit, and I want to make him like a real super freshy newborn. And then I have the new, um, what's your one? Winnie. So let me know in the comments which one you would like to see next. The Two-Faced Baby, G Gianna and Julia, or um, Charlie Ar Arcello. He's the newborn with the neck turned, and he'll be a freshy newborn. Or the new Winnie. Just leave it in the comments, and uh, we'll do a, a vote. Thanks, guys.